So I'm gonna expose um, this movie that's coming out in January 2024 by Jay-Z. Jay-Z posted it on his Instagram. He never uses his Instagram. I think he just reactivated it, and there's only one post, right? So that's the only post you can see. And that movie he's promoting is called The Book of Clarence. It's blasphemous, right? And I'm gonna let you guys watch this. I believe that Jay-Z, Beyonce, they have something of God. They have something against God. You know, the Bible talks about enemies of God. These people are enemies of God. They do not like God. They mock Jesus. All they do is mock the Christianity, mock the Bible, mock, mock Jesus, mock God. That's all they do. They don't mock other religions, but they embrace other religions and they mock Jesus Christ, right? And I'm going to go ahead and play this video. I think it's all about the Antichrist, false messiahs raise, raising up, um, trying to empower the black man to engage into witchcraft and things like that. But um, look at this stuff, all right? Just look at what this is. All right, here we go. I'm Clarence. I'm not a man without faults. I played the cards I was dealt. Clarence, in spite of your selfish ways, there is a beautiful soul in there, somewhere. Clarence, is he? Jesus of Nazareth. You can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. So we're going to stop right there, right? So these two people see Jesus. One of the guys right there, his name is Clarence, and he's supposed to be the new Messiah. He sees Jesus, and he's very, he's now what happens is that he's dealing with covetousness. He wants to be like Jesus, selfishness. He wants to gain what Jesus has. He wants Jesus' followers. He wants Jesus' power. And the guy b beside him says, um, you can't even buy power like that. So they have the understanding that you can actually buy power, but not power like that, because Jesus is all-powerful. This is why people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, they have bought power. The Bible says, what is a profit of man to gain the whole world and lose their soul? The power that they have bought is influence, it's money, it's fame. That's the power that they bought. But in this, in, in the context of this, the power they're talking about is witchcraft. It's voodoo because you can go to different witch doctors and get different type of powers. And you got to give money. You got to give some type of sacrifice. And oftentimes, higher levels of power are bought through human sacrifice. Right, covenants and stuff like that. So, oof. power like that. I want to be like that in ten years. I want to be like that now. Knowledge is stronger than belief. Knowledge is stronger than belief. So. You gotta understand in the occult, you know, they really cancel out faith. It's all about it's all about works. It's all about you know um, self empowering the man with knowledge. Knowledge is power. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Because it's all about self. Even with the devil, he empowers self. The devil will empower you, right? Because when you empower yourself, you're automatically worshiping the devil anyway. When you worship your flesh, you're worshiping the devil. When you elevate man, you're elevating the devil. That's what exactly what God, what, what Satan did with Adam and Eve in the garden. He wanted to give Eve power. He wanted to give Eve knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. You know, the knowledge of good and evil. Here, you can have this power. You can be like God. So this is exactly what it is. Knowledge, right? Knowledge. Knowledge is better than faith. Knowledge is better than belief. He's basically saying that knowledge is better than believing in God or having faith in God. You have, you, you can believe in yourself. Knowledge that you are powerful. Knowledge that you are God. Knowledge that you can be like God. Because this guy in himself has a problem with Jesus. He's jealous of Jesus. You know, he's struggling with covetousness. And the Bible talks about that covetousness is a sin. You're trying to gain someone else's possessions, someone else's abilities. You are jealous of them. <laughs> Clarence, he need the miracles. I have a plan. I can see! I can see! <laughs> God sent me to deliver his message. See? He's saying, God sent me to deliver his message. 
So this is really destroying and saying that basically Jesus was never sent. Jesus was never really sent by God. I am your new Messiah. I am your new Messiah. Listen, the Bible prophesies about these things. In the book of, um, in the book of, um, I believe it's, um, in the book of, Matthew chapter 24, verse 5, it says, For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ, and will mislead many. Right? So this movie is going to mislead many because many people are going to think, a lot of black people are going to think that they are God, that God is self, that God is black. Right? So they're going to mislead many African Americans into believing that God is black or God is self, which is the doctrines of demons. You know, God is not any type of color that people think. You know, in the Mark chapter 13, verse 6, many will come in my name saying, I am he, and will mislead many. Luke 21, 8, and he said, see it, see to it that you are not misled, for many will come in my name saying, I am he, the time is near, do not go after them. Matthew 24, 23, then if anyone says to you, behold, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe him. Mark 13, 21. And if anyone says to you, behold, he is Christ, or behold, he is here, do not believe. So there's a lot of Bible verses here, right? Matthew 24, 24, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders, so as to mislead, if possible, even the elect. So this, this Clarence guy is a false Christ. He's a false prophet. And he's going to show great signs and wonders. And you saw earlier how he... How he um uh, what was it he um uh, um he's going to um knowledge uh, is stronger than belief. He's gonna make the blind see. <laughs> Clarence, you need miracles. I have a plan. I can see. I can see. <laughs> so earlier in the video, we could see that that guy, he you know he couldn't he could see before he could see before. So this is like staged. It was staged. Right, it was staged. So by any means necessary, they're gonna do a lot of false signs and wonders. This is why the Bible says, um, in the book of Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse nine, even him whose coming is according to the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So there will be great signs and wonders, but they'll be lied. They'll be li they'll be uh deceptive. It'll be all about deception. There'll be a lot of stage things, you know, what you see with your eyes is not really what, what is actually taking place, right? This is why it's imperative to have the gift of discerning of spirits, to be able to have discernment. This movie is blasphemous, and I believe Jay-Z has something against God, personally, right? Jay-Z has something against God. Beyonce has something against God. God sent me to deliver his message. I'm a, I am your new Messiah, and people are praising Clarence, right? This is why the Bible says that many will come in his name and say, I am the Christ, and they will mislead many. Blasphemous swine! Ah, stop that! Your God is a myth! See for yourselves, there is no Messiah. Parents, if you'll be so kind to walk on water. See, right here, he has to prove himself that he is the Messiah. He has to walk on water because Jesus did all these miracles. And now he's trying to say, I'm your new Messiah. And these people that are putting him in chains and uh, chains and, um, you know, binding him up and whatnot, they, they want to say, if you're really the Messiah, walk on water. And he attempts to walk on water. Damn. And I believe he's actually going to walk in it. I believe in this mo movie, they're going to empower the black man. They're going to empower self for him to actually walk on water. I believe it. So what they've actually done in this movie is that they have opened the Bible and they have now begun to dissect the Bible and take scriptures and manipulate it to promote a false Christ or false Messiah to downgrade Jesus, right? And you can tell that this movie is very pro-black, which is ridiculous because we shouldn't be focused on color. You can see, you know, the Romans were white and everything and all the people were black. And I know in other movies that 
it used to be just white, white, white. But this is per, at least at least in Passion of the Christ, you know, they are portraying the truth, sound doctrine. Now, what they're portraying right here in this book of Clarence is witchcraft. It's demonic, right? It's demonic because this man, Clarence, wanted to be like God. We're going to go back to one part of this. He wanted to be like God, right? He wanted to be like Jesus. Well, that we're going to go back to that. Jesus of Nazareth. So that's Jesus, right? Jesus is Nazareth. You can't even buy power like that. can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I wanted to be like that. I want to be like that now. I want to be like that now. See, this is how false prophets operate. False, pro just like Simon the sorcerer. Simon the sorcerer saw the power of Philip, and he said, "I want to be like you, Philip. I want the power." He tried to buy the power. Uh, Simon the sorcerer was trying to buy the power from from uh, disciples because he saw God move. He saw God move through the laying on of hands, and he wanted that power, and he thought he could buy it. Simon the, Simon the sorcerer was of the occult, and in the occult, Simon knew that to get power, you have to buy it. To get uh, some type of potion or some type of anointing in the occult, you have to buy it. This is why these people obviously are not believers. Clarence is not a believer. Clarence is not a Christian. He just wants to become like Christ. He wants to be Christ. Not in the nature of his holiness and righteousness, but in the nature of power and receiving the glory of man. This is satanic. And these are the things, this is why the music industry attacks Jesus, degrades Jesus. This is demonic. Jay-Z actually has something against God. I know that Jay-Z is not the Antichrist, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was. I know he's not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he is. And his mistress is Beyonce. Because this is getting this is crazy. This is covetousness. This is witchcraft. This is demonic. This is an attack against Jesus Christ. <laughs> Knowledge is stronger than belief. <laughs> Clarence, he need the miracles. I have a plan. You know, the Bible talks about in one verse where it talks about the wisdom of man. Right? The Bible talks about um the Bible says this in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. As, as it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. Right? So the Bible's telling you that the wisdom of this world is foolishness. The knowledge of this world is foolishness. We're supposed to submit to the knowledge of Christ, the word of God. The word of God gives us wisdom and knowledge. If we go and seek our own knowledge, our own ways, our own wisdom, it's foolishness in the eyes of God. Right? The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, the weakness of God is stronger than men. Right? So we really need to focus on the knowledge that's in the word of God, not the knowledge that these people are portraying. The doctrines of demons. I can see! I can see! False prophets. In these videos, these people are false prophets. And you see the pride where he's like, Mm, this is what he wants to be. He wants to be like Jesus. He wants to be like God. It's pride, is it? It's a demonic spirit. See right there, all that money. You know, this kind of reminds me of like Jesus. You know, um, opening up the um, the bag of fishes. You know, when they went um, to the side of the boat and he was with Peter and whatnot, and they took the the bag out and the, and it was filled uh, the sack out when it was filled with fishes and whatnot right and he said you'll be fishes of men right i believe that this is like mimicking it with like money in a sense right oh you can make money come out of nowhere because these celebrities all they care about is money anyway right the bible says the love of money is the root of all evil god sent me to deliver his message i am your new messiah we're gonna stop that right there because it's just too crazy it's too demonic it's too just evil but i'm gonna show you why how jay-z about 12 years ago he made a song called empire state of mind and he said jesus christ cannot save you life starts when the church ends just watch this all right you're gonna see this really quick watch this it's absolutely horrible 
Hail Mary to the city, you're a virgin. And Jesus can't save you, life starts when the church in. Jesus can't save you, life starts when the church in. Jesus can't save you, life starts when the church Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. So he, he's praying to Mary, Hail Mary. So first of all, that's idolatry right there. That's demonic. And then he starts degrading Jesus. Jesus cannot save you. The Bible says that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son, that who, whosoever believeth in him, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jay-Z has something personal against Jesus Christ. Do not go watch this movie because I believe it's filled with witchcraft. I believe it's filled with the Antichrist agenda. Do not watch it. It's demonic. There's an attack against uh, our faith in Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that they hate you because they hated me first. You know, this is a this is a form of persecution against our faith. And many people will rise up against our faith as they already are. And it's going it's to come from this type of movement, empowering self. When the Antichrist comes, he's going to empower self. He's going to empower man. It's all going to be about man, man. And when people take the mark of the beast, what will happen is that they will worship the beast, but they will also worship self, right? This is so demonic. Anyways, don't go watch this movie. It's satanic. Don't even entertain it. It is just horrible, and it's not for the culture. It's of the devil.